Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. For the journal reflection presentation, our group has chosen a research article with the title Bioremediation of Crude Oil Contaminated Soils Using Cow Dung as a Bioenhancement Agent. In this video, my members and I will give a brief description of the research paper which will include the research objective and methods that is used for the study. Other than that, we will also dig in deeper into the results, discussion, and also conclusion. At the end of this video, a reflection on the research will be included. Without further ado, let's begin. The objective is to study the effect of different weight of cow dung on microbiological properties of crude oil contaminated soil. This is the workflow of the methods used in the study. The first method is sample collection. The crude oil used is bonny light and the cow dung manure is extracted from a ranch in Jigawa State. Soil sample which is also extracted from Jigawa State use only topsoil 0 to 15 cm with no history of crude oil contamination is then bulk and homogenized then 1 kg of the soil is weighed into 48 labeled plastic bowls. Second, description and treatment of sample. Crude oil mixed into 36 bowls out of 48 bowls soil sample and the remaining bowls both left at natural environment for 2 weeks. Cow dung manure weighed at 30, 60 and 90 kg per kg soils into all bowls. It is conducted in triplicates and arranged in completely randomized design. Third, microbiological analysis, the, in which the enumeration and identification of total fungi population, total hydrocarbon utilizing fungal population, and the extent of crude oil utilization by fungi isolates. Fourth, determination of fungal population. One gram of each soil samples is serially diluted to 10-fold dilution and 0 0.0 ml aliquot is seeded into PDA plates and incubated at room temperature for 5 days. Counts obtained multiplied by dilution factor to obtain fungal cell counts per gram of soils. Fifth, determination of hydrocarbon utilizing fungal population. 0.1 ml aliquot of crude oil suspension seeded into modified mineral salt media. Vapor phase technique is conducted. And then the average mean counts of colonies from triplicates is calculated. Isolated colonies on MSM purified by subculturing onto PDA. Lastly, determination of extent of crude oil biodegradation by the isolates. After six weeks, three samples of each treatment analyzed using gravimetric analysis for quantification of residual crude oil using the equation shown on the slides. This is the result of fungal population in amended and unamended crude oil contaminated soil. Based on the previous table, the mean count of fungal population decrease in all treatment options from week 0 to week 1 and then increase at week 2. From week 2 to week 4, the mean count slightly decrease but increase at week 3 to week 4 for treatment of cow dung 30 and 60 gram. The application of all treatment shall decrease at week 5 and week 6. The increment observed in mean count of fungal population were significant in most cases. Next, this is the result of hydrocarbon utilizing fungal population in amended and unamended crude oil contaminated soil. Based on the table, the hydrocarbon utilizing fungal population HUFP show increased pattern over the period of study as the treatment weight increases. These increments differ significantly in all the cases. Table 3 shows the result of weight loss of crude oil due to microbial attack. The application of 90 grams of cow dung 
show the highest removal of crude oil from the sample with percentage 52.59%, followed by 60 gram of cow dung and 30 gram of cow dung with percentage 44.35% and 37.06% respectively. The controls show the least removal of crude oil from the sample with percentage 29.41%. I'm Noor Anis Afrika and I will continue on discussion part. As mentioned in the results section just now, fungal population from week 0 to week 1 is decreased. This decreased pattern can be related to the selective inhibition of members of microbial community. Petroleum in the contaminated soil is the main cause of this to be occurred, where it produces toxic components such as heavy metals. Other than that, the presence of petroleum may contribute to low aeration and insufficient amount of carbon or inorganic nutrient balance of indigenous population. In terms of hydrocarbon utilizing fungal population or HUFP, higher number of HUFP can be obtained by using 90 grams of cow dumps. This can be said that higher organic materials can give higher nutrients to the population of fungi. Hence, the fungi will effectively utilize hydrocarbon petroleum. Example of nutrients that can be obtained from the organic materials are nitrogen and phosphorus. According to Abu and Ogiji in 1996, the addition of nutrients and their combination with the crude oil may supply sufficient substrates for microorganisms. Discussion on loss of crude oil is related to the HUFP, where it is bioremediation potential of the treatment. When there is an increment of HUFP, the loss of crude oil from the contaminated soil will be increased. Based on table 3 in result section, the use of 90 grams of cow dung helps in treating the soil more effectively. As mentioned earlier, nutrients obtained from cow dung play the important role in crude oil contaminated soil treatment. Therefore, the quantity of cow dung to the contaminated soil has a significant effect on the remediation process. In conclusion, results indicate that cow dung at different weight tested was effective in biostimulations of fungal species in crude oil contaminated soil, leading to corresponding increase in men increase in microbial population. Attention should be given to the utilization of optimum application level as results in this study indicate that Biodegradation respond to the differences in treatment application for soil quality similar to the one used in the study. Now, we have come to the final part of the video which is the reflection. Through this study, the effects of cow dung on the microbiological properties of crude oil contaminated soil has been determined. By understanding this, it will benefit us as we can utilize the cow dung as a bioenhancement agent to treat crude oil contaminated soil. The experimental analysis unleashed that the bacterial isolate derived from cow dung microflora expressed abilities to utilize crude oil as a sole carbon source when applied as microbial seeders to serve as bioremediation approach on crude oil contaminated environment. Applying this scientific research, cow dung are recommended for the elimination of crude oil pollutant as bioremediation approach on polluted soil and also rejuvenation or maintenance of natural land value for farming purposes. And by doing so, we can help in reducing the environmental pollution and restoring contaminated soil in a cost-effective and eco-friendly way. That's all from us. Thank you.